Hey guys, I'm going to take you along on a call where my landlord, where my shop is, he owns that whole complex back there. He installed a mini split for himself and just wanted me to come pull a vacuum. Like it's going to be just that simple. Come pull a vacuum, release the Freon, and we'll be done. Well, it wasn't that simple. Stay tuned. these circuits are connected what mm -hmm. oh oh I, ah, you know I think you have to one at a time each, yeah each one yeah that's what that's what hook I'm up your, hook up your gauge your sometimes line I, and then this is just your open and close valve and then you have to open that one and evacuate that one I'm thinking about putting one of these on my house I put one on my my other house I'm gonna not that particular name brand, but I'm gonna put another one on my house. I got one over at Baker Brothers right now. Dang, good thing there was a lot of room out here. Yeah, you got uh, that van. I can't park like when I go to like Home Depot or something. Yeah, I gotta park in a special place. I can't park the trailer pull through or either, something like that. Yeah, yeah, or pull through two spaces to stop in the middle of the white line. <laughs> Oh, this don't have pressure on it yet. I'm sitting here thinking I'm supposed to have pressure. You got the uh, Allen wrench. You're going to have to open up to get anything on it right there on that cap. I know. What do you think of pressure was? I, I'm just so used to having pressure on, on this. Oh, oh it still still inside your um, valve you mean yeah i don't know if i got my my little valve or not i did all right let's start with that one because we got these valves right here, I think I can pull a vacuum on the whole thing. You want the destruction sheet? No. This is either gonna work or it's not. Pulls the valve core out. Yeah. And I didn't get it. Hey, did you make it by a doctor yet? No. I decided not to go to MSA today. Do a soil contamination clean up. We do that, we're gonna have to pull a permit. <laughs> yeah, when I worked on those big, big ammonia refrigeration systems, they pull. Oh, 
open up my ballast just a little bit. If I can. I noticed I'm not using my good micron gauge. And that's because... <clears throat> dang it. I got oil on the sensor. And I had not cleaned it off. Had not cleaned it off yet. I do make it easier to clean the sensor on these. I'm probably going to go over there and hook this one up. The vacuum will evaporate all that alcohol really quickly. Video now. Oh, no, don't be putting no video on. All right. 9,000 microns. That's better than... That means I am pulling for both circuits. You over there talking to me got me distracted. <laughs> I gotta blame it on something. Well, sure you do. But Travis is on disability, and he doesn't. He feels like he doesn't need to be. <laughs> yeah, the other. I always like things nice and neat, man. I'm just OCD to the hill. You could have done a couple little things to make it look better, but it does look good. <laughs> you could have um, shortened this line. Then I'd have had to flare it. Yeah, and, and tie these together. There's a wrap that goes around them. Yeah, they, but that wrap's not adhesive. That white wrap that they send with these kits. Yeah. It's not adhesive. It's just a piece of plastic. Dumbest thing I ever seen. I pulled it out and I said, looked at it and I said, look at this crap. There ain't even no glue on the back of this stuff. It's just a piece of plastic. All right, let's try this again. All right, now they're opened up. Now we're pulling down. All right, I got down to like 8,500 microns and it seemed like it was getting stuck. So I turned it off, valved it off and I'm watching it. I don't know if it's still got some of that alcohol in it or not. It seems like it would have evaporated by now. I'm gonna let it keep pulling. Y'all can't see that, but it's stuck on 8,500 microns. Okay, we got two quarters, looks like a three eighths, and a half inch. What's that now? All right. 
so quarter inch tightening torque 11 foot pounds on the quarter inch Fantastic. Got everything already hooked up and I think you got them over tightened. Um, half inch, 35. third micron gauge and this one is starting to pull down more like it's supposed to 4750 microns all right i'm coming in here and retorquing all his flare fittings i'm loosening and tightening I just did that one a second ago. All right, let's find the other one and then we're gonna probably do a pressure. All right guys, I have, it fits on top of the flare in between this piece and the flare. The, on the male part of the flare, it's it there's a little copper piece that fits in between that's supposed to be there you want to take it out and check oh um, i've already lost my vacuum so might as well leave that turned off hey i got birds want to build a nest up in the tongue of the tray fifth wheel pin box they're running off twice 
And they're busy skinny bus straw up in there. I gotta get out of here and stuff the towel in there. Run them off. That's on that adapter piece. You need your second? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll try to loosen it up, loosen it up so I can. Well, when I tighten, you know, when you have the cap on this, I put me a wrench on this so it didn't torque this, because I mean, that's just two sprues in 10. I was afraid, you know, putting too much torque on it, I might strip something. All right, I was planning on pressure testing anyway. Yeah, there's supposed to be a little copper flange. Whoops, I think you lost the um, little red. Yeah. Oh, let me see. I can clean it up. That little piece goes on the flare. Did you put some kind of goop in this to help seal it? It's what you're supposed to put on that red. Mm -hmm. I guess it helps it slide on that red so it won't go on dry and maul up. Yeah, but it's, it's in here. All I did was wet my fingers on the red thing uh -huh. and then slipped it down in there. And I mean, they didn't take a much. There was a little tube like that, and it worked on every one of these fittings. Mm. It is cut in half. What's that? The little red insert thing that you put in here? Uh -huh. It's cut in half. Look at that one. They got a line on them. Now that one looks good. It feels like it's metal though. Boy, it might be a hard plastic. It's. I think it's a hard plastic or Delron or nylon or. I don't no, know what I'm it's. seeing a little bit of copper. I think it's it copper. Be copper. And you say that one in there is compressed and messed up. You see what I'm saying? It looks like it's cut in half. All right, we found these little inserts that they gave him for his mini split. And um, that one was cut in half down in there. These are copper based inserts. So if you don't tighten them too much, they should be okay. But normally on these adapters, there's a copper flange that fits down in here to make the seal. And um, his adapter didn't come with one of those. Either that or he lost it. Mm -hmm. All right, this is how they sent the adapter. It comes with that coated copper piece because that one's got a little bit of trash on it. Let's use this one. I got it. You can tell if it's hitting since it's metal, it wouldn't just screw on there easy. Alright, that is a 3 8 fitting. 3 8 max 26 Newton meters. That's where I've got it set. is going to be half inch so half inch 36 newton meters 
Yeah, I got it. So I'm gonna put a wrench right here. Put their little insert on it. Pressure test it. <clears throat> that what you just heard was just a little bit of refrigerant. How did it get in there? It's in my hoses. Oh, it just in your hose already. Let's turn this side off. <clears throat> Let's boost it up a little bit and go around and bubble check all the joints. Now this is what you should have done when you installed it. You might have some nitrogen. You have nitrogen? Mm, not really, no. Ooh, I think that's going to be it. compressed air. I think that's going to be it for that tank. Let's valve it off. I'm gonna let that settle just a little bit. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Test tightness. All right, let's go bubble check our joints. Well, um, these technically they're both suction. Did you split the quarter inch one? Yeah. Okay. Because the metering device is in here. So when it's running in air conditioning, technically they're both. But when it's in a heat pump, they're both high pressure. Yeah. This is a heat pump. I am not. Right now, I'm not seeing any bubbles. Nothing here. All right, let's go inside. Oh, it's over on the other side where I was running my uh, pump drain out of there. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. No bubbles, no troubles. <clears throat> How you like that step right there?
no bubbles. I'm, ha I'm happy. Now let's try to pull a vacuum again. I also found that this o-ring right here is damaged look at that don't know if y'all can see that but it's not very good down in here Oh, this is a bugger. I'm getting hot. I'm going to come out this t-shirt and we'll resume. I was unable to get my half-inch hose repaired. So, I'm using a 3 8 with a 3 8 to half, a quarter adapter let's see if we do better this time oh I'm down to one ball <laughs> oh I'm already doing much better we're down to 820 microns Okay, that pulled down pretty good. We're going to release our Freon now. I got that all valved off. So much for just pulling a vacuum.
All right, let me put these on. We can't forget to put our Schrader cores in. something now that this has pressure on it can y'all see that it's leaking right here this is the brand new Navac valve core removal tool I'll never use it again for that one okay so in the end there I was never able to get it below 800 microns and as it turns out it was because of that Schrader core removal tool and I gotta tell you if I didn't say it at the time I'm not gonna use that one again in fact I just picked up a new one but um yeah so much so much for that one. I mean, you would think if it has good O-rings in it, the thing's brand new. I've maybe used it twice. And come to think of it, the last time I used it, I had difficulties. I will not use it again. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was educational for somebody. If it was and you liked it, how about, um, like and subscribe and I'll catch you all on the next one.